If you haven't witnessed or led anybody to Christ, let this be your first time. And for every first time, people may laugh at you. And everybody has a first time. I remember when I got saved, six months after I got saved, when my pastor saw my zeal and my dedication, he decided that our youth district conference, he would make me preach. And that day I remember the place was filled with people and man of God to be. I had fasted three days with only water. Pray, oh, studying the Bible, hey. And they introduced me. Five minutes after being introduced, my sermon finished. And then I started going round, 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 round. So 10 minutes into my, into my sermon, my pastor came and took over because I was repeating myself and repeating myself. With all my fasting and prayer, three days, dry, clay, with only water, absolute fast, tongues, so oh, five minutes. It's not the same today. Amen? Today, in some of our meetings, when we have retreats and when we have teaching services, I, I can teach five hours nonstop. But those days, five minutes, no, all my sermon was finished. And so everybody has a beginning and everybody has a first time. And so your first time in trying to witness to somebody, it might not go well. You might not be able to lead anybody to Christ. Don't worry. You just still preach to them. Tell somebody, preach to them. In fact, when you start preaching to people about Jesus, some may even accuse you of being proud. Eh, you, you feel you are better than us. So now you are trying to preach to us. No, don't feel shy. Keep on. Be shameless. Say, be shameless. So you've got to be shameless in telling people about Jesus when you sit in the car. You take an Uber. And somebody comes to sit by you. Yes, you preach to them. You say, Bishop, how do you know Uber? You think this world, hey. It's Ghana, I don't take Uber. When I travel outside Ghana, Uber, ah, near the call. Amen. Give the Lord praise. Give them thanks. Now, one for Uber, Uber for Amen.